I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good morning, Amanda Altree and Franklin Leonard. Thank you for joining us live from the Sundance Film Festival. How are you guys this morning? Uh, doing awesome. Right. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Well, great. I'm sure it's warm and cozy where you are, all of that kind of good stuff. But you guys are here to talk about the buzzworthy films and the parties. And if I could start with you, Amanda, what's going on? Give us a vicarious view of, you know everything that's happening there. Yeah, well, I wish you could be with us. We're in a very cozy spot. We call it the retreat here at Hotel Park City. Uh, it's the third year that the Blacklist and Autograph Collection Hotels have partnered to really create a great uh, sp a space for filmmakers, directors, actors, whoever's here attending the festival to come and connect with others and collaborate and have a networking space. And of course, we're super excited to see some really wonderful films this year. Franklin, let me ask you, you're doing such great work, and you bring such um, view for us about the Sundance Film Festival. What do you see? Um, well, look, this is my 15th year at the festival, um, and I, I, I'm excited every year in part because I, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, it's the largest independent film festival in North America. It really is at the nexus of all the big questions and all the big conversations in the film industry, the culture at large, and really society and the world as a whole. Uh, so, I, you know, look, I think we know what those big questions are in 2018, uh, and I'm just really excited to have those conversations to see stories about those conversations projected 40 feet high in a dark room with a bunch of people I don't know. Okay, you're host of the Blacklist Table Read podcast, so I know you're on top of it. Tell me about the diversity at the Sundance Film Festival. Is this a focus at the film festival this year? Yeah, I think it's a focus for the industry at large, and it definitely is a focus at Sundance and has been for several years. You know, uh, one of the films that I'm most excited for is a script that was actually on the annual Blacklist in 2016 called I Think We're Alone Now by Mike Bukowski. It's directed by Reed Morano, a brilliant uh, cinematographer turned director. She also directed a number of episodes of The Handmaid's Tale. Couldn't be a more topical TV show these days. Um, I'm also really excited for uh, a film uh, called The Kindergarten Teacher, uh, starring Maggie Gyllenhaal. We're actually going to be hosting an event for them uh, later this weekend. Uh, and there's another really exciting film that has a direct autograph collection uh, connection, uh, but Amanda should probably tell you more about that one. Yeah, well, we're really looking um, forward to seeing Blaze. It was written and directed by Ethan Hawke, uh, shot on location in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, at one of our hotels called The Watermark. Um, so we're a little vested in that one, and it's getting um, a lot of buzz and, you know, working with Ethan. It's really been a family project, so we're really excited to see that this weekend. Amanda, you're with the Autograph Collection Hotels, and you represent more than 100 luxury-style hotels. So that means that there is a, a, a big gathering of people who are seeking wealth, who are used to luxury and, and all of that. How do you provide that at the... Um, Film yeah, well, it's a great question. You know, we're really um, here to celebrate storytelling because storytelling is really part of Autograph's DNA. You know, every one of our beautiful boutique hotels really tells a little story, um, leaves a memorable impression on the guests that walk through here. And I think that's the goal of every filmmaker, right? To leave an impression and, and have those lines, have that film, have that story stay with you. And, and so there was a really natural tie-in between Autograph and independent film. Um, and really what Franklin and I are trying to do in partnership is shine a light on these beautiful films, make them available to more people, bring more audiences to this beautiful content. And we do that by streaming indie films free of charge at Autograph Collection Hotels in the U.S. So whenever you stay as a guest, you have a selection of you know, seven or eight critically acclaimed films that you can watch and hopefully it gets people interested in indie films. They're, they're different than the mass-produced uh, studio films that most of us see in our communities. 
We love that. And staying at a hotel, seeing a film no one saw before, well, that's a great, great uh, focus. Franklin, I'm going to wrap it with you. How can the local uh, community support indie film? Uh, the biggest way is to see independent film. So track down information about films that sound interesting on the internet. Go see them at your local multiplex or a single, uh, single screen uh, sort of venue. Uh, if you can't find them there, track them down on a, on a streaming service. And then when you find something you like, tell a friend. Encourage them to do the same thing. Um, track down a local film festival in your, uh, in your community. Almost every community has one. And try to find somebody in your community who's making a movie themselves. Ask them how you can help. Trust me, they will tell you. All right, Amanda Altree and Franklin Leonard at the Sundance Film Festival. They're making new frontiers for all of us. I want to thank you guys for doing your interview right here on the Valder BB Show. Thank you very much.